My name is Craig Arnold. Uh, I'm a professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering, and I'm the director of the Princeton Institute for Science and Technology of Materials, all at Princeton University. I'm Christian Terrio. Uh, I am the co-founder and president of TAG Optics. This patent, or the idea for the patent, is kind of a long process, so there's a bit of a story here, like everything else. And um, it all started back when I really first came to Princeton, and um, this was back in 2003. What we did was we started by creating this, this system where you, you fill a cavity, you fill a chamber with, with a liquid, like water or something like that, and then you send a sound wave into it. The sound wave causes the molecules in this fluid to vibrate, and sometimes they vibrate very close together, and sometimes they vibrate very far apart. And when they vibrate close together, light slows down, and when they're far apart, light speeds up. And so by controlling the sound, I'm able to control the light that passes through this device. And so we started asking, can we turn this type of control of light into a lens? Um, and that's where we started finding some very interesting properties of it. And, and we discovered that, yes, we could. And that became the cornerstone of our initial patent. This idea of using sound to create a lens that can control light, but it does so in a way that's very special. Um, it's special because it's really, really fast. So, you know, what we found is that by using this process, we can control the focus and we can shift it like five to 10,000 times faster than any other system out there. Well, at Princeton, I never actually did take any classes with Craig, and uh, we did know of each other since we were in the same department in material science. And uh, while at Princeton, I had started other ventures, uh, and that's one of the reasons why Craig knew a little bit about me and about the fact that you know I cared about the innovation and the technology as much as about the marketing and about the business side. Um, and then in early 2010, we reconnected. I was working with another company at the time, and uh, over the months, particularly over the summer, we really started looking. And the idea was like, okay. This is a neat technology, this is a neat invention, but can it actually be a product? So in early 2011, in January, I took the decision, okay, why not? Let's take the plunge. So um, I left the company I was with and officially started Tag Optics. At the very beginning, we were, pardon my pun, laser focused on laser material processing. And it's not till about mid-2011 where we realized that really the market on the imaging side was just so much greater. So right now, our technology is used a lot in the bioengineering field as well as in the machine vision world. So we have a lot of our customers who basically have been able to do ultra-high speed volumetric analysis, which means that they can actually see neuronal firing in real time and actually see the entire synapse in 3D and the entire axonal uh, effect in 3D. So if I send a flash of light at some time, I'll see that moment in time. And the cool thing about the tag lens is I can send a flash of light and see what's happening here. And then some nanoseconds or microseconds later, I could see what's happening there. And in many instances, this is like simultaneous, right? So imagine being able to, imagine driving your car and being able to see the instruments on your dashboard, but also seeing a truck that's, that's 200 meters down the road with perfect focus, right? That's something that, that our technology can do if you could, you know, time your light. Tag Optics actually was acquired a year ago by Mitsutoyo Corporation of Japan. So we have this gigantic Japanese multinational company helping us to further promote the technology and to try to incorporate it in as many products as possible to change as many lives as possible. And in a way, that's what Edison was trying to do with everything from the gramophone to with the light bulb. We're here in Edison's lab, the history and the, the sort of the, the history of technology that comes out of this. It's, you know, it's sort of a further testament to saying, yeah, you know, this was a, this was a good move. You guys did pretty well. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty proud of that. Mm -hmm.